Offensive coordinator Kirk Shiraka joins us now. And Coach, we have to start with the quarterbacks. <laughs> you were very inexperienced uh, coming into camp. You have basically two freshmen competing here. Update us on that competition and when you expect to make a decision. Yeah, they, they've been doing a, a elite job competing with each other, not against each other, helping each helping each guy grow together. And I really, I've been really excited about their progress. It was probably about practice number four. You know, I was waiting for them to hit that wall where it was just the information was too much, paralysis by analysis out there. They were thinking instead of playing, but it didn't happen. And then the next day I was still waiting for it. Didn't happen, didn't happen. And really they've gone the whole way through training camp where they really haven't hit that wall, which is, it's really amazed me because I've never had that with this young quarterback. You know, they've always hit the wall at some point in training camp. The installation got too much. The defensive package got to be too much for them. And, but they've done an unbelievable job of coming out every day and competing and getting a little bit better every day. So at what point do you expect that you'll have a decision on who your starter is going to be? Uh, you can really get out to ask Coach Fleck that. You know, um, but I would imagine that, w you know, we've been talking the last couple days about it. And I, I would imagine that probably on Saturday or Sunday that we'll, you know, sit down again and have a long conversation about it. How's the best way to describe the difference in this year's depth and last year's depth? We're better is uh, with it. We're just, we're a little bit deeper. We're, we're better across the board. We're not there yet. You know, like I told the offensive kids uh, about seven days ago, you know, we have a chance to be pretty good. You know, I just, and I'm sure that we're gonna be pretty good at. I just don't know when, and, you know, it's up to them. Can they keep grinding every day, change their best on a daily basis, and keep getting a little bit better? But I really like our future, and, you know, I've been around offenses long enough that I can tell when you have the pieces that you can be good. I just don't know when. I don't know whether it's going to be I – I hope it's New Mexico State, but I don't know that, you know, and I don't know whether it's going to be week seven, week nine or even next year, but at some point we're going to be pretty good. I see the pieces starting to come together. Rodney Smith, a known commodity, who are some of the guys that are battling for that number two, number three spot? Because you guys always have to have a couple of backs in the system. Yeah, I, I think Muhammad's our, our number two guy right now, solidly our number two guy, and he earned that in spring ball. You know, he showed us uh, in spring ball that he can play, you know, and, and I think the number three position, though, is really wide open right now. And, it, you know, even today in practice, we're trying – working to get them more and more reps, even get them in there with the ones, you know, so we can really get a good evaluation on them because that's really going to be the big decision, who's three and who's four there. Coach, do the same thing with the wide receivers, the young wide receivers. How's that depth looking? Who's done well? Again, we've improved there. I, I, you know, uh, Rashad Bateman is going to be a special player, you know, and he's proven that and making plays for us already. Um, you know, he, he's going to be special. Uh, he got here in, this summer. He's a kid from Georgia. You know, he, he looks really good. I think Seth Green is going to help us add some depth out there. You know, we moved him to tight from quarterback to tight end, and then we decided to move him to wide receiver. He's added some depth for us there. Uh, you know, the Demetrius Douglas, is a, he played for us last year before he got hurt, and then we ended up redshirting him. He's improved. You know, really, when I look at the wide receiver position, we've improved everywhere. But probably, overall, we've taken the biggest jump at that position from an offense, from really where last year, it, we had a lot of weaknesses, but that might have been the biggest one, you know, where it's, it's definitely not anymore. And we have some guys that, you know, given an opportunity to make a play are going to make a play, you know, whereas last year I felt like, uh, you know, especially after Tyler got hurt, you know, they just, all you had to do was play us and man free and press us. And there was really not going to be anyone to throw the ball to. Outside of health, what are some of the things you want to get done and accomplished coming out of this camp? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, you know, we, we want to be fundamentally sound, you know, and we want, we're, we want our guys to master our system. You know, first you learn something, then you understand it, and then you master it. When you master it, you can solve your own problems out there in the field, and that's really the game of football. And that's what our challenge has been right now. We feel like uh, during the, at the, after the scrimmage, we evaluated that. I said, guys, you, they understand it, but they haven't mastered it yet. They're not able to solve their problems. They know the solution, but they're not able, ha ha they're not able to figure it out all the time on their own. And, and at the end of the day, you know, execution comes from consistent details from 11 guys play after play. And we, we, we've got to get away from 10 guys doing it right and one guy not doing it right. And that's where mastering the system, you know, not just understanding it. And now we can think deductively when we're out there and, and really 
be fundamentally sound and play fast. When you master something, you can do it fast. Offensive coordinator Kirk Sharaka, coach, thanks a lot. Great, thanks for having me, guys. Row the boat.